he does look pretty happy running through his snow maze. Makes me think I should maybe do something like that for my dog, Symphony. No, that's too much work. Okay, forget it. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall, developing stories, mixing it up. We'll talk about rain and snow and who gets what and fog versus sunshine. That battle continues out west. Also, it's happening a lot in the Ohio Valley. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the Japanese tsunami anniversary. This is four years ago today that this occurred. And we'll uh, honor those uh, that lost their lives in, in that terrible event coming up on the show. All right. 15 degrees for Calgary. Again, it is beautiful. 11 for you in Vancouver. Minus 20. 21 up through Yellowknife, so you can see where that cold air is hanging out. And St. John's at 3 degrees uh, this afternoon. That's a little better. 8 for you in Halifax. Let's go to where our winter weather is, though. We are looking at winter storm warnings on the western side of Newfoundland. Blowing snow advisories, snowfall warnings, wreck house winds, along with areas down in the southern Avalon, like Cape Race. You could be seeing wind gusts um, that are as high as 110 kilometers an hour. And then Pond Inlet and Hall Beach, we have the extreme cold warning. I know you can barely make those out. That's a good thing when we can barely make out the extreme cold warnings across Canada. 12 degrees in Prince George this afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous. So still a very mild push of air on the west coast at the long range forecast. In fact, a very moist pattern for you. We'll talk about that coming up as well. All right, 16 degrees for Lethbridge. It's going to be cloudy today. That can really hinder your temperatures when you get that cloud. Maybe folks in Ontario know what I'm talking about yesterday. We kind of got gypped out of a nice day because of that cloud. Uh, four degrees with a little bit of cloud in Regina. Two for Saskatoon. And then look at the Paw. Look at the and Thompson. Much cooler colder air up through the north, minus 10, partly cloudy. So Calgary, you're going to be up at 16 degrees this week. Is that the highest ever? No. 25.4 in 2004. Pretty impressive numbers. Same with you in Regina. Not as warm of you as you've seen on this date in history, but certainly a nice day. So enjoy it. All right, a look ahead. I mentioned the moisture moving on the West Coast. Uh, by tomorrow, we'll be into another round of heavy rain. The heaviest rain for Vancouver will be tonight. Bit of a break for Friday and then back into it on Saturday. And uh, very mild temperatures into the long range. Okay, let's go to the Rideau Canal. Yeah, too unsafe to be skating on there. So because of the mild temperatures, and this is what we mean. We have temperatures like this, five degrees yesterday, eight for you in Ottawa, and uh, partly cloudy conditions. Yesterday, though, we did see that fog. So why is that? We saw some cloud. We saw a lot of moisture being invected in from the south, and that storm that's just south of us nudged in a little closer than we would have liked in Ontario. Today, you'll see much more in the way of sunshine, so enjoy it. Seven degrees. We'll be right back. This is always a fun segment. We call it Share Your Weather, and this is when you get to send us your photos or videos via Twitter. That's my Twitter handle. And then we get to showcase them on air. So yesterday I asked on Twitter, hey, I'm a big uh, camper. I have a camper, and I love going out in my camper, so I'm so excited. I asked, hey, do you have any special spots across Canada that you like to go camping in in the spring? Because we're counting the days to spring, right? Well, Malcolm Park says, well, this is a look at the ice banks, hashtag, at Sandbanks, Provincial Park before they melt. So obviously we have a lot of uh, melting to occur before we can go camping at Sandbanks Provincial Park, but a beautiful shot nonetheless, Malcolm. Uh, his uh, Twitter is at Starfest2015, and Malcolm, Sandbanks is near Picton, Ontario, so your personalized forecast this afternoon. Enjoy a gorgeous day, five degrees, partly cloudy conditions. It's going to be gorgeous. And your seven day forecast, not too bad at all. We're getting close to that seasonal mark consistently. So at about four degrees, uh, we are watching though for a bit of mixed precipitation by the early part of next week behind a system. So uh, we'll talk about that. Let's go to this afternoon's high for the rest of the country. Good morning to you in Calgary, 15 degrees there, 11 for you in Vancouver and three for Edmonton. So you can see a big temperature difference between Calgary and Edmonton. That's a warm front that's going to separate that colder air to the north. In fact, we could be talking about some mixed precipitation or even freezing rain, and then high level um, Alberta will be getting into some snow. Beautiful flowers, you get you need sunshine and you need rain. Well, we have rain in the forecast. Rain showers persist, in fact. Uh, looking at next week, it looks like another surge of moisture. So today, this evening, the heaviest rain for you in Vancouver, about 30 millimeters for you. And then a little bit of a break throughout Thursday before we get into another system uh, on Friday. So uh, do brace yourself for uh, you know a bit of a soggy pattern 30 to 60 millimeters for Squamish and then Tofino you're at about 30 to 60 as well 
uh, Port Alberni, less, maybe about 30 and 15 to 30 down through the south. Okay, oh, that went for a little ride there. Two to five centimeters all the way up through the north. Um, and then, you know, snow up through the northwest, five to 10 centimeters. So this is a system, and it's kind of an interesting one because underneath, this is the warm front. We always know where our warm front is because that's where that mixing line is, right? That's where you get that freezing rain or mixed precipitation. North of it will be snow down here, 15 degrees today. Edmonton only about three, so to total temperature difference, right? All right, let's uh, talk to you about uh, this situation. Of course, this is good morning to you. It's uh, midweek. It's a Wednesday. We're mixing things up with rain and snow. We're seeing that on radar in the east, and I'll talk about that coming up. How about fog? We see a lot of that this time of the year, right? As we get into spring, how about sunshine? That battle continues, and of course, the Japanese tsunami anniversary, that on a... Uh, more somber note, we'll talk about how they're honoring those people that lost their lives uh, with that uh, catastrophic event four years ago today. Okay, unsettled conditions on the West Coast. This is the system showdown. This is where I get you in front of every system. We time it out for you and we let you know what we can expect. So let's begin our story on the West Coast with that rain. Uh, wet winds out of the south for Vancouver. Heaviest rain for you will be tonight. You'll see about 30 millimeters up through the central and the north, like areas like Tofino. You'll get up to about 30 to 60 millimeters of rain, even maybe a little more than that. Campbell River, a little less than that down towards the south, oh, about 15 to 30 millimeters. Squamish in the BC interior. Um, well, Squamish, you'll get some rain, but the BC interior, you'll be pretty dry. Okay, Calgary, you're ready for a temperature roller coaster again. I'll tell you, drive up the QE2 up to the north in Edmonton. Today, with the system developing along the jet stream, Edmonton will be at around 3 degrees and Calgary could be close to 15 degrees. So what a temperature gradient. That's what we call that. As a result, some mixing through uh, some parts of the region. And I'll show you that in just a second here. So you can see the system develops this afternoon into the evening hours. Um, and the moisture, there'll be high elevation snowfall. And then this moisture breaks out up through the north. And again, uh, that mixing potential, likely through Grand Prairie and Edmonton. And that could be um, there you go. Uh, I'll, uh, that could be uh, Thursday pre-dawn. You just saw that little thing scoot up to the north of my screen. It's kind of fun. Uh, two to five centimeters for McMurray. Five to ten. If you can't laugh, you, you got to have fun, right? Five to ten centimeters high level. Down through the uh, higher elevations, you'll see some snow as well. But Slave Lake and then back to Dawson's Creek and north of Edmonton, that's where that mixing is going to be occurring. So Thursday pre-dawn. So heads up if you have some driving to do. Be careful. Okay. High pressure through the prairies. It's going to be mild. It's pothole season. A lot of people call it, what do they say? They, I don't know, fall, winter, pothole season, construction season, I think is how it goes in Toronto. Okay. This afternoon, fair and seasonal. We're looking at very calm winds and a nice day. In fact, today will be nicer than yesterday because we're going to get the sunshine today. So seven degrees mild. And then let's go to the east where we're dealing with a winter storm. We have rain in Cape Breton Island currently, rain down towards the south, all wind and snow for Newfoundland. All right, we'll be right back. Foggy conditions in Columbus, Ohio. Same conditions again today, likely through the Ohio Valley. Uh, we have seen some uh, observations this morning indicating that. And really, maybe you woke up to some fog in Ontario as well, or BC. Well, we're going to take you to BC. 11 degrees this afternoon, by the way, with your uh, rain in the forecast, but gorgeous on the West Coast. So let's get into how much you can expect to get. About 30 to 60 millimeters for areas like Tofino. And then down towards the south, for you in Metrovan, um, you'll be about 30 millimeters, 60 through Squamish. Whistler, get ready for it. Yeah, you'll get some snow. Um, Tyler Hamilton was telling me that they're going to be getting some snow. Uh, Tyler, how much snow did you say they were going to be getting? Uh, two to two systems, locally 50, above 2,000. Awesome. Locally 50 centimeters for Whistler, above 2,000 meters. So this is great news because it's been a tough ski season. Uh, many of the uh, coastal mountains completely closed this year. So Whistler, great news. Get out there and enjoy it. But the rain continues into the long-range forecast. In fact, we're going to see kind of a soggy pattern into the long-range forecast. So uh, do take note of that. Uh, get ready to bring that umbrella out again. There's some snow way up through the extreme north. And you do see some high elevation snow through Revelstoke, about 5 to 10 centimeters northwest of there. Um, and then the mixing line. This is a warm front. So that'll separate our warmer air down here. Very warm. You saw Calgary up around, what, 13, 14 degrees. And then if you go north of that front, it's much colder. In fact, Edmonton's only going to top out at 3 degrees. So there's that mixing line. This is pre-dawn tomorrow morning. Be careful out on those roads. Is it spring or is it pothole season, right? Haha, -ha, that's my little joke because everybody says that. The roads are rough after a uh, hard, harsh winter. Collingwood, you'll be out at, at um, about the same temperature today, but this was yesterday, 7.5. Pearson International only got to 5.3. Kind of got gypped out of our temperature yesterday. That's the way I'm looking at it because I remember leaving um, the station 
yesterday, we, we uh, our headquarters are in Oakville, and I looked around at the cloud and I thought, mm -mm, our, we're not going to warm up quite as warm as we think because of that cloud. And today we're going to see much more sunshine, so enjoy it. It's lots of sunshine up north too. Thunder Bay, 10.9 yesterday, uh, but look at this, minus 2.8 for Big Trout Lake. Colder air setting up behind the system. So we talked about that cloud cover and why we didn't warm up quite as you know, maybe to six or seven degrees. That's why there's a system to the uh, south and it ushered in a uh, southeasterly flow and that moisture over the uh, the water, so the winds over the lakes, that's part of the reason we cool down. Also, the cloud cover does not allow the sun to do its job and warm up the surface. So as long as you get that cloud cover, it can lock in heat, but it can also prevent heat from the sun this time of year. All right, this afternoon, fair and seasonal. We have a few scattered flurries maybe through the nickel belt. That's about it. High pressure dominating. And then uh, we see a little bit of cloud cover building in by Thursday afternoon up through the north. So, okay, the big story, though, is on the east coast. 10 to 20 centimeters of, of snow for Deer Lake Rec House 5 to 10. We can see wind gusts in Rec House as well as areas like Cape Race uh, at 110 kilometers an hour. So we do have a, you know, big storm on our hands. But first, we'll leave you this. This is an hmm. incredible story. And, you know, Cheryl, we were saying earlier, okay, if it's 10, 12 degrees, it was almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit there. Right. So it translates to like 12 degrees here. I would not be going out on the ice. Nor would I. Nor would you. But no. a lot of people do, especially on smaller lakes. This is prime ice fishing, uh, you know, time of year, like up in Muskoka right now. I know a lot of people are looking forward to going. Yeah, and we were looking at a statistic that was pretty alarming that yeah. if there's one crack in the ice, that weakens the ice structure by 40%. Two cracks weakens it by 75%. Yeah. Think about that. When we look at our Great Lakes ice coverage, it has diminished significantly because of the warm weather we've been experiencing. So, so stay off the lake. Uh, temperatures are going to be on the rise again. In fact, this afternoon, Cheryl, for Toronto, uh, for Calgary, look at this beautiful 15 degrees, 11 for Vancouver. But I was saying yesterday, it's almost like we kind of got gypped out of our day, right? Because yeah. with a lot of that cloud cover hung around, we didn't really reach that daytime high. Well, it was so interesting because uh, my hometown, Timmins, was warmer than in Toronto yesterday. It reached 5 degrees because in Toronto. Of the sun. It was 12 degrees Neat. in Timmins yesterday. And guess what? By tomorrow morning, it's going to be minus 17. Yikes. So, yeah, big <laughs> swings in temperature no are going kidding. on. So, these are the forecast conditions. You can see the heat continues in the west. It's oscillating a little bit in the east, but we are going to be seeing at least temporarily some warmer weather in eastern Canada. Nearly uh, 16,000 people killed and 2,800 people still unaccounted for. This top three stories. We're going to be mixing it up with a little rain and snow. Of course, we're in that transitional time of year, and that's usually what we see. Mild air battling it out with the cold. Fog versus sunshine. That battle continues as well. And the Japanese tsunami advisory, we'll talk about that, or sorry, not advisory, anniversary, of course, is uh, what's happening today. Four years ago today, actually, we uh, remember those who lost their lives. 250,000 people still uh, displaced in that air, in that region. Just an awful uh, outcome. Okay, Calgary, you'll be at 15 degrees this afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous. Vancouver at 11. And let's go there and show you the foggy conditions yesterday. It could be a little cooler. And then you get that warm air kind of trapped at the surface, and then eventually it mixes out as the day goes on when the sun comes out and does its job but today not a lot of sun for you 11 degrees with some showers same for you in victoria uh, 16 degrees in lethbridge 11 for red deer but check out fort mcmurray minus two if we look at calgary you'll be up around 13 14 degrees edmonton only three so a big temperature change uh, on the way and that's all it is is our winds whatever winds where your winds are coming from will greatly dictate the kind of weather you're getting well we have a southerly component underneath a warm front up here we're gonna have more of a northerly or maybe northeasterly component to those winds regina enjoy a beautiful day, 4 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Calgary, 16 degrees this week, but the highest ever, 25.4 this time of year, 2004. So, yeah, you could be warmer, but we'll take it, right? Sounds nice, 16. Um, we'll talk about what's going on here. Uh, Thursday morning, we have the potential for a bit of freezing rain uh, through areas like Edmonton. And then you can see just one low after another for the West Coast. So, certainly getting back into a warmer pattern and rainier pattern, far too mild. To, uh, to keep that ice frozen. So eight degrees yesterday through Ottawa, partly cloudy conditions, five degrees at Pearson Airport. So why did it not get quite as warm as we thought? Well, what makes a difference is the amount of cloud cover, the winds coming over the lakes. It's actually really difficult to forecast temperatures this time of year because the snowpack affects it. 
uh, the sun angle this time of year is becoming stronger. So all of a sudden you can warm up a few degrees warmer than maybe you thought. It's kind of interesting. Today I think for sure we're going to be at 7, uh, 6 for sure. Might even surpass those temperatures with the heat of the sun. Windsor, gorgeous day, 8 degrees, lots of clear conditions. Not the case out east. We have a snowstorm on our hands, but look at the temperature difference uh, out east too. 8 degrees in Halifax, meanwhile feeling like minus 5 in Corner Brook. Now this afternoon and the evening, even colder than that on Thursday. So colder tonight, but even colder yet tomorrow and expect that snow. Um, you know what it takes to get uh, flowers blooming is sunshine and rain. Well, we have an abundance of rain on the way, so that'll be good for the spring blooms. Let's talk about why. Well, we have a moisture um, you know, pattern, I guess, that's more favorable to bring those storms onto the west coast instead of uh, bypassing them along that ridge, which they've been doing a lot lately. So that ridge now breaking down, those lows are going to hit the coast. We'll see the heaviest rain tonight in Vancouver and then up the central and north coast. You'll see maybe 60 plus millimeters. Same for areas like Squamish and up through Campbell River, about 30. Victoria, a lot less. And then Metro Van, about 30 mil uh, with the heaviest being tonight. Now into tomorrow morning, things get a little dicey. We have that developing low that's just starting to develop east of the Rockies. So the moisture moving on shore, then some of that energy is sort of moving over the Rocky Mountains. And with that, we'll see five to 10 centimeters of snow through high level and extreme northern BC. Two to five centimeters along a warm front from Fort McMurray back to the west. But Slave Lake through Edmonton, back to the west through Dawson Creek, mixing or even freezing rain. Big temperature uh, gradient today. We have about 13, 14 in Calgary, whereas Edmonton in this area, north of the front, only about three. Okay, and we leave you with this. 